Mr. Lou Geiger on uh, June 7th, 1999. And we're going to be talking about the Point Loma Yacht Club. So do you want to tell me how, how you first got involved with it? Yes, the club was formed by uh, uh, several interested people uh, interested in boating who were at that time moored at Underwood's uh, anchorage on Shelter Island. And uh, we decided to form a yacht club, uh, small though it was, and uh, it was rather a joke. Uh, but uh, it consisted of uh, myself, my brother Charles Geiger, uh, Joe Clement, uh, Bud James, um, some of the names escape me at the moment. When you think of them later, we'll put them in for you. Uh, we stayed at uh, Jim Underwood's. Uh, but we were growing pretty rapidly. And uh, Jim came to me and told me we're gonna have to get out of there because he couldn't afford to have that many people lose, leave his facility all at one time, which at some point we were going to do. Mm -hmm. And he could see the handwriting on the wall. Yeah. So he'd rather fight the bullet early in the game, which he did, and uh, requested us to find another anchorage. We did find another anchorage at the Half Moon Inn. And we moved our facility, such as it was, to Half Moon. Now, where where is that? Half Moon Inn is a shelter island right in the corner of the cove. Okay. And uh, Half Moon Inn uh, devoted uh, an entire finger of their slips to our use, but we didn't need the whole thing. And uh, so we only paid rent on the part of it that we actually used. And we had a movable gate that uh, we put on the slip. And as we grew, we'd move the gate to allow for additional slips. And uh, this worked very well. And uh, we were very happy there. Now, early on, uh, John Bate, who was the port director at that time, uh, had told us that uh, we'd very likely be able to find us a spot on uh, the new Harbor Island when they got to the point where they were ready to do something down there. And uh, we look forward to having a land base at Harbor Island, but it never materialized because as time passed, it became apparent that uh, he was going to have to back out of his commitment to us. And he came to us and told, her that, told us there would be no yacht clubs on Harbor Island. And uh, so there went our hopes there. Yeah, did, did you know, did he say why they weren't going to put any? No. Just that that was it. It was going to be all commercial, and that okay. was it. Um, he um, dashed our hopes, of course, for a land base. We came up with several other ideas. Uh, in the meantime, one of our members was regularly uh, eating lunch with Jim Underwood and Bill Miller, who were two of the early on pillars of the marine industry here, um, at uh, Jim Underwood's office. And uh, one of the uh, members from Southwestern Yacht Club, he was Vice Commodore at the time, fell by the name of Ed Schaefer. Uh, got wind of it, and he started joining them at the brown bag lunch. And uh, one day, he, out of the clear blue, asked them if they would like to join, if Point Loma Yacht Club would like to join with Southwestern Yacht Club. 
Well, none of them really had any say uh, other than to bring it back to me mm -hmm. and uh, the rest of the board for a determination of where do we go from here. Well, what it wound up with is we had a, a general membership meeting of our group and uh, I determined that yes, there was interest in joining and uh, we'd get the details from Southwestern as to what their thoughts were. And uh, ultimately, we pulled up stakes and moved over here. And uh, it was a very happy marriage. Not all the Southwestern members were happy to have Point uh, Yacht Club come over and join them. But uh, they got used to us after a while. And uh, there was really no animosity left that I know of. And. Uh, yeah. And what, what year was this? 1961. 1961. And... Uh, they started in 1961. Yeah. Actually, I think the move over here was in 1962. Mm -hmm. um, May of 1962. When... Uh, when... What were their provisions like? Did they give you uh, 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 special rates or anything to, to make up for your having to move? or? Well, we did have a, a, an agreement that they would take us all in for a flat rate. Because yeah. this isn't written down here. I, it's the, the fact that they that you came and joined, I knew, but I haven't found any other information written down. So they were all you were all taken in for a flat rate, okay, and and were just automatically full fledged members right away. That's correct. Now they also took in some other members, if I use the term off the street, I don't quite mean that, but uh, uh, members, uh, new members to Southwestern that were not members of Point Loma. Mm -hmm. But when they came up with this rate for us, they extended the offer to other interested people, a number of whom joined at that time and are still members today. I think that was the time when they had quite a few slips, and, and this. Oh, well, so they, they had really, a lot of slips. The they place had room. Was vacant. Yeah, they had room for people, and uh, um, well, then, how did it work? Like you were the commodore at Point Loma. Did you have any office here? No. So that how many years were you commodore at Point Loma? Just one year. And and we were still pretty new. Bud James was the first commodore. I was the second. Okay. Bud was first, he, and he was here also, and you were second. And so then you were actually at your location, uh, the Half Moon in location. You were there for just two years before you joined here. Say that again, please. Uh, you, you were at the Half Moon in location just two years before you... No. Uh, no, we were there for longer than two years. Where'd you get the two years? Oh, because of uh, Bud James and myself. Yes, yeah. So there well, were other Commodores. No, 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 there was nobody else. Mm -hmm. But it would work out about that, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, during our formative period, we didn't, uh, we didn't even have a Commodore as such. So uh, we were I see. operating as a club. We mm -hmm. didn't uh, yeah. have any officers mm -hmm. as How yet. About how many uh, families were in the, the Point Loma Yacht Club when, were you involved at the very beginning of it? Yes, I sure was. Okay, so but then you must have been one of those original five or six families. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the other ones were... Uh, Bud James. You and your brother Lou and Bud James and Joe Clement and... I've got. I'll, I'll find. I'll find Edwina's maiden name because I know that she uh, said. Ty her, Tyrone. Ty Tyrone. Okay. Well, that's okay. We have time. You can. If well, we I've don't. I've got it all written down, so don't worry about it. Okay. Great. Um, um, 
So then, um, w once you became members here, then you still you still had the other yacht club, though, didn't you? The other yacht club? Oh, you know what? I'm getting it mixed up. La Playa. Oh, La Playa yeah, is I another. It's still in existence. Right, and it was, and that's where Edwina Goddard's family were. That's where the original oh. five members. Oh, oh, that's it. See, I don't have any information about this yacht club. The only yacht club I have really much information about is about some about La Playa. So this is really good that it's we're doing still this. A, it's still an independent operation. Yeah, it's yeah. right across the cove here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See, I was thinking. I was thinking La Playa because the, uh, our yacht club had also invited members from La Playa at some point to join, and some of them did, but but some of them didn't, and they're still maintaining theirs. So your entire yacht club came. Yeah. Okay. Now there were uh, there were uh, two or three families that opted not to join. Mm -hmm. They either dropped out of boating. One one couple joined San Diego Yacht Club, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, that's all I can, that's all mm -hmm. I can think of, actually. The rest came over here. And that was in 1961. 1962 is when 62. It's, negotiations started in 1961, the move was made, and consummated in 1962, May of 1962. Okay. And everyone then adjusted to that. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good to know. Was there anything else you wanted to tell me about um, this yacht club? I, I have a couple other things I'd like to ask you. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. Well, is there anything else we want to say about Point Loma Yacht Club right now? I don't think so. Okay. okay. Um, 